Hello. In this screencast, I'll walk through how to generate an access token manually using public authorization code grant authentication. Note that all values, email addresses, keys, secrets, tokens, and other personal information you might see are for demo purposes only and have been deleted or revoked. Access tokens are needed to make calls to DocuSign APIs. To follow along with this video and get an access token, you will need to have these things first. An integration key. You can create a new integration key using the Add App and Integration Key button in your Apps and Keys page. A redirect URI for your integration key. And you must choose to use Public Authorization Code Grant in your Apps Authentication Settings. To choose Public Authorization Code Grant in your Apps Authentication Settings, choose No for the question on whether your app is able to store a client secret. Then select Native OS Application. You can also use Public Authorization Code Grant with single-page web applications, but SPA apps also require that you add an origin URL and select the Allow Cores for OAuth Calls checkbox. This example shows only the basic public ACG flow and does not include cores. Ensure that Authorization Code Grant with Proof Key for Code Exchange is selected. This option is recommended over Implicit Grant for all use cases. Once you have ensured that you have an integration key, a redirect URI, and that your integration is configured to use public authorization code grant, you can begin the process of getting an access token. The first step is to generate your code challenge and code verifier. Public authorization code grant uses proof key for code exchange or Pixie to validate the identity of your app. First, generate a cryptographically random string to use as the Pixie code verifier. This string may use standard letters, numbers, the dash, period, underscore, or tilde characters, and should be between 42 and 128 characters in length. Typically, you would do this programmatically by creating a new GUID value. Then, hash the string you generated using the SHA-256 algorithm. Base64 URL encode this hash. The resulting value is your code challenge. Once you have generated your code verifier and code challenge, construct a URI value that directs a user's browser to give consent for your app to make API calls on their behalf and to request an authorization code. The URI value includes a base path for the DocuSign authentication service. Note that this path changes depending on whether the app is in the development environment or in production. I'm using the base URI for the development environment in this example. A response type value of code, which tells DocuSign that you're using auth code grant. Your code challenge value, and a code challenge method field with a value of S256. A list of scopes that your app needs, separated by spaces. Typically, you would use the signature scope for the eSignature REST API. You will also need your app's integration key to add for the client ID parameter. And finally, a redirect URI that matches one of those configured for your app. Once you've built the consent request URI, you can open it in the browser. If you haven't already provided consent, this will open a window prompting you to log in and grant signature permission to your app. Log in and choose Allow Access. Next. DocuSign returns a URI containing an authorization code to the redirect you specified earlier. In this example, I used localhost, so it is loaded directly by my browser. Because the browser cannot render the authorization as a web page, it will show an error message, which you can ignore. The URI of the page will contain the authorization code that you need to provide for the code parameter used in the next step. Your app must parse this URI to retrieve the authorization code, which I'm highlighting here, and copy it to a secure place before beginning the next step. Now that it has consent and the authorization code, your app can exchange it for an access token by issuing a POST request to the DocuSign Authentication Service API. For this example, I'll use Postman to make the request using the development environment. This request contains four body fields. Grant type, which should have the value authorization underscore code. Code, which contains the authorization code that I just saved. Your app's client ID value. And finally, the code verifier that you created earlier.
If the request succeeds, the access token field in the response will contain an access token that you can use to authenticate your DocuSign API calls. Thanks for watching. Please see our authentication guides on the Developer Center for a more detailed walkthrough.